days. Northrop Grumman is also testing an unmanned combat air vehicle. The X-47A Pegasus. It was designed as a flight demonstrator for the X-47B that could be used by the Navy. Pegasus was our UCAP demonstrator. It was a company-funded investment. The way we approached the Pegasus was basically to demonstrate that, in fact, you could take an unmanned combat air vehicle and land it on the deck of an aircraft carrier. There is still some debate, even within the military, about how and when UCAV should be deployed. I think there's just this sort of rules of the game, ethical bridge to be crossed of is it okay for a drone to be, you know, f and firing and are we really sure that that's Osama and, you know, not the head of the orphanage who's walking along the street. There's a lot of, you know, queasiness about doing this because, you know, you're looking through a soda straw on these things and, you know, are you really sure that's the guy? The chances of making a mistake are, are pretty high and you really don't, obviously don't want to kill innocent people. We must be very, very careful that we don't develop systems that are so complex that they really transgress whether or not they should be inhabited systems. There's a tremendous value in having the inhabited system because, to be frank about it, an inhabited aircraft carries with it a great deal of, of innate common sense that sometimes you don't have in a system that's relying on the lineup of ones and zeros. It remains to be seen how commercial airline pilots and private pilots will feel about sharing airspace with planes that have no pilots. Here's a